Tight. Yeah. Lines tight. Shirt up. Bow tie tight. Hair cut strap. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. 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 Clean cut. Bean pie. Yeah. I was thinking about one of them. I, think I never. I, I, I ain't gonna say I never had. It. I hadn't had it since I accepted Christ. I've had it in time spent. I think I need. Nah, there they are. Good. Yeah. I'm talking about both bean pie. But, <clears throat> but we need that the, the the discipline of the Lord. Because you can't be a disciple without it. The root word for discipline is disciple. Amen. I want to build what God wants to feel. Another nail is a throne. That's another nail. His throne is a nail. His word is a nail. Jesus is a nail. Amen. Go to John 14. Are y'all getting anything tonight? Yeah. Good stuff, Maynard. A nail in a sure place. Wow. Holy place. I always use sure place because I think in Isaiah 22. There is a nail in a sure place, too. You should look at that one. That's, 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 that'll blow your mind, too. Might get you saved. John 14, uh, verse 1 through 2. Let's look at another nail. Let's just look at the nail. It's the same nail because everything extends from it. It's the manifold wisdom of God. The same nail. Same Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's one, you know, it says the fruit of, some people say the fruits of the Spirit. How many you know it's one fruit? Yeah. Right? It said the fruit of the Spirit is mm -hmm. just one fruit with nine different branches. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. Jesus is one <laughs> manifestation of God mm -hmm. with manifold wisdom of God. Yeah. Yeah. John 14 and 2. Uh, John 14, 1 and 2. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have. I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. He said, "If it were not so, what?" You know what? Can you go to verse three? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Uh, where is it? Go to uh, verse six. Uh, okay, verse that's verse four, three. Go to four. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Verse sixteen. And I will pray the Father, and He shall give you another Comforter, that He may abide with you forever. That He may what? Abide, abide or dwell. Or be a nail with you forever. Verse 17. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because I, because it seeth him not. So the world, everybody can't get saved. So watch out them lies, them seducing spirits on Facebook that tell you everybody's saved. They said the world sees them not. You have to be born again to see him. Right? Go ahead. Neither knoweth him, but ye know him. For he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. So he dwell what? With him and shall be in him. But at first he wanted to let us, don't let your heart be troubled. Some dark days, historically, since some dark days getting ready to transpire, I'm about to be cut off out of the earth. Am I right? But he said, don't be comfortless. He said, I'm going to go prepare a place for you. Verse 19, right? 18, go ahead. I will not leave you Comfortless, I will come to you. I will not leave you as an orphan. That's powerful. God wants to remove the orphan mentality. You can tell when you operate in an orphan mentality when you feel like there's proximity between you and God. If you feel like God is like a switch on and off, if you feel like your sin consciousness or your uh, biblical aptitude or your ability to walk in righteousness is your measuring stick. That's a orphan mentality. A son understands. Remember he said, remember in John 8, I think it is in 
31, 32, or 33, or 34, somewhere in there it says that the son abides forever, mm -hmm. but the servant don't. Mm -hmm. when, it's, when you understand that God, when you understand the nail in the holy place, you understand that you continually abide. Yes. Yeah. That means you can leave a building. Mm -hmm. you, can leave a lo you can leave a location. Mm -hmm. I, I want y'all to hear this. Mm -hmm. That means that no matter where you go, no matter what you do, God is always there. We have to get that. We got to get that mentality. Now, verse 19. I'm just going to stir up a little bit of people's, but 19 is where I'm going to go. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live. Ye shall live also. Verse 20. At that day, ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. 21. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. That word, manifest, is in two places in scriptures. Mm -hmm. One of them have to do with the mansion. He's going to make his abode, his dwelling place with us. He said, those that keep my commandments, I'm going to continually dwell there. In the, he, in the Greek, it means the tense of it has no regard for time. Yeah. You can't even figure. It's a continual manifestation. He said, he said, myself as Christ and your Father will reveal ourselves. We will disclose ourselves to you. That you will no longer be comfortless. You will no longer be orphans. The reason why we live in that realm is because we haven't had a manifestation of him. Yeah, that's, right. that's why he says, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. See, we disconnect those four verses and never continue on the conversation. Starting from 14 and 1, it's all the way to get over to the 21st verse of John 17. Yeah. That was one conversation. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. He, he, took, he said, look, let, let not your heart be troubled. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. What else did he say? He said, you believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. In that place, we already know in this house, is not him going to prepare a mansion. You are the mansion. Yes. We are God's address. Yes. Hebrews 3 and 6 said, we are Christ's house. Yes. We, we are Christ's house. When we get together on a corporate level, we become the mansion, the plurality of God's dwelling place. The habitation of the tabernacle of God. We understand that? And he said, go prepare a place. And when he went to the cross, he prepared a place for you. That's why the rent, the veil was rent. Because you couldn't go in there. Uh, I wish I could talk to y'all about the heaven and earth, but I ain't got time. Because you, you would see the tabernacle of Moses a whole other another, whole other way. It just suffice me to say, when you get in that third, they knew when they got in that third dimension, every high priest, everybody from the time, the ironic priests knew when that week, they knew heaven was there. The most holy place, the Shekinah glory, the Kabbalah of God was considered heaven to them. Because wherever he is, that's right. Hmm. That word mansion is Monet. It means a staying 